with Yemen because they are no less human beings. There is no justification, brothers and sisters, to support a terrorist or a terrorist regime because terrorism has no faith. If you tell me that the Bible teaches you terrorism, I'm not going to buy it. If you tell me that the Torah teaches you terrorism, I'm not going to buy it. If you tell me the Quran teaches you terrorism, I'm not going to buy it. A terrorist is a terrorist is a terrorist and needs to be condemned and terrorism must be condemned in its totality. Our message, brothers and sisters, is the message of respect. If you see your Jewish neighbor, you must respect him. If you see your Christian neighbor, you must respect him. My faith teaches me to respect the Jews and Christians. My faith teaches me to respect the Torah and the Bible. But when it comes to Zionism, the things are different. Because Zionism stands for oppression. Zionism stands for occupation. Zionism stands for warmongering and false flag operations and violence and aggression and there is no justification for killing any innocent person regardless of his faith. So just few days ago this New York city of New York witnessed thousands of my fellow Jewish neighbors, respectable Jewish neighbors protesting on the 70th anniversary according to the Jewish calendar for the Zionist state. New York witnessed thousands of honorable Jewish people protesting against the atrocities of the Zionist state and I witness that the Jews are one of the biggest victims of Zionism. And we support the Jews who are oppressed, whether it's inside the state of Israel or outside, because there is no justification for victimizing or killing or injuring any innocent person regardless of his faith. Brothers and sisters, killing of a pregnant woman is not self-defense. Killing of a disabled person is not self-defense. Killing of babies and women is not self-defense. And one word for those of my fellow Americans who call the Zionist entity to be our democratic ally, one word for them, the Zionist state is neither a democracy nor an ally. For that kind of ally to be on our side, we don't need any enemies. Israel is not a democracy. A democracy is a form of government that respects its fellow citizens, where the practicing Jews and the practicing Christians and the practicing Muslims have no respect and animals inside the Zionist state have more respect than the Muslim community and the practicing Jewish community and the practicing Christian community inside the Zionist state. This is not democracy. We as Americans, we as Muslim Americans demand of our lawmakers, of our Congress to stop selling the arms to the Zionist entity. Our government should not be part of the crime committed against humanity. We are here, brothers and sisters, to denounce the killing of more than 60 innocent Palestinians in Gaza and the injuring of more than 2,700 Palestinians in Gaza. This is something which is done for no sin. Those people have no sin except one, freedom of expression. 
We denounce the atrocities of the Zionist regime against those Palestinian brothers and sisters. At the end, I would like to say that we stand hopeful, putting our trust in Almighty God, because Almighty God has promised to all of us that justice will prevail. Brothers and sisters, you are the voice of conscience. You are the voice of justice. And you are the hope and the true democracy. This is how the true democracy looks like. We shall not be intimidated by fear mongering. Because as they say, fear is a choice. It's not the way to go. It's the way to go for those who have a decline in values. Our faith teaches us the values of humanity and thus we are never intimidated by the fear mongers and the war mongers who are selling their wars for the benefit of the corporations, for the benefit of the banks, at the cost of countless innocent civilians being massacred. This is not acceptable for all of us. We as Muslim Americans demand our lawmakers to um, recognize the crimes of the State of Israel. Those are the crimes that are documented by Amnesty International. Those are the crimes which are documented by the Human Rights Watch. Let me, let me quote here from Philip Lufer, Research and Advocacy Director for the Middle East and North Africa for, for the Amnesty International. Mr. Philip Luther says, this is another, and I quote, this is another horrific example of the Israeli military using excessive force and live ammunition in a totally deplorable way. This is a violation of international standards and some inst in some instances committing what appear to be a willful killing constituting war crimes. And human rights director, the decision, recent decision from the state of Israel is to expel the human rights director. At the end, I end my speech with a promise. I promise to all of you that we will prevail.